Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy and I'm an American living in England, living my very best Harry Potter life. And today we are gonna go over what happened in the month of January. Before I forget, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future content and go ahead and follow me over on Instagram as well so you can see what other magical things I'm always getting up to. I like to do magical edits and sometimes I even do giveaways and I have one coming up in February and in March. Oh my gosh, that's quite a lot. <laughs> This video is going to be a bit more casual, so it definitely is just like buckle up because there's quite a lot of things I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over things like stuff I bought this month, uh, what videos I've done, and how I'm getting on with my resolutions. So yeah, I hope that makes this video a bit more clear. But let's go ahead and get into what happened in January. So if you saw, I did a video on my New Year's resolutions in which I talked about doing things like 100 videos this year. So let's go over that first. Um, if you didn't see already, I have done eight other videos. This will be my ninth in January, and I will be filming a second one tomorrow. So this was actually filmed Thursday. Oh my gosh, I just did like the longest ramble that I will probably cut out. <laughs> like I was just like talking to myself, I swear. Um, right, so I wanted to go over what videos I have done this month. So I have done eight other videos. I did my, well, all right, so since the beginning of January, I have done my 2020 resolutions video. And uh, yeah, you can go ahead and watch all of these if you'd like. I have playlists for everything. It's all categorized, so you can pick and choose whatever you want. And of course, it's also done by the date. So if you missed any, you can go ahead and catch up on those as well. Um, definitely leave me a comment if you do. I just like seeing who actually does that. It just, it, it pleases me. <laughs> I did the Harry Potter collection of my, not my entire Noble Colo collection, not of my entire Noble collection, but just a few items, the Dumbledore cup, the Hermione Granger bag, and the Dumbledore, wait, I just said that, and uh, the Nicholas Flamel wand that I've been using in my videos. So I did that, and that one has, like, I think over a thousand views, which is really good for me, because I don't tend to have that many views on something, so thank you guys for that, that was really nice to see. <laughs> oh, I did a Harry Potter desk tour, where I showed you guys when I put together this new desk, I've added new, the new things like this little cabinet. You can get the details of all that, like what's inside of the drawers and everything in that video if you'd like to see. Hello, this is Editing Joyce speaking. Wow, I just called myself by my full name. Anyway, I named the wrong book. The real book is this book, the Flip Through Movie Magic book. So you can check out that video instead of the one I'm talking about in this clip. Goodbye. I did more of my Harry Potter collection in which I did the Mina Lima portion of my collection and uh, the pin portion of my collection. So definitely check those out if you guys are interested in Harry Potter collection things. Um, and I also love sharing the things that I do collect because this is that's basically I collect Harry Potter. <laughs> the last two videos I've done so far are the Hermione, Gr what, yeah, the Hermione Granger giveaway that I did with my friend Alarm18, and that was a huge success. I had over a thousand people enter, which was amazing for me. Like I have a tiny account, relatively tiny account in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> so having that many people involved was amazing. I think that kind of led to me feeling a bit stressed out though because I did have to message quite a lot of people and I honestly, I don't know how Jack does it when he does them regularly, it was a lot of work. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure I'll be doing a quiz one anytime soon, but I do have an idea for the next two. Of, uh, Cause I, I know you guys said you like playing games kind of, so I'm gonna try to do something a little different for those instead of a quiz um, involving a little bit more creativity, so. We'll see. <laughs> the other video I did was the Wizarding World Gold video, which I did mention once already. So definitely check it out if you're looking to purchase it and why you may or may not, why it may or may, may not be good for you. And I did want to touch on that just a little bit really quick. I have gotten a few messages from friends overseas and people, some of you guys have reached out to me and told me that you were really upset because Wizarding World Gold isn't available um, pretty much outside of the UK and the US. You can, of course, purchase it, but it might not be useful because they might not ship to you. Um, the discount may not cover the shipping, so it's still quite expensive. Um, most of the events are based in the US and the UK, and it was disheartening. I didn't, I didn't understand, I, I didn't know that really. Like, obviously it makes sense now, but you know, it's a little bit selfish to me. I didn't think of about it. Um, so I did, I did want to mention that. I'm sorry that if you can't get that. I do hope that by speaking up about it, I think it, it sends a message to obviously like Warner Brothers and the Wizarding World um, like owners that if there's more of a want for it in those other countries, hopefully maybe you would get like stores and things. I would really like to see that and uh, I don't have a big platform, but I think it's important that it is said that um, there are more Harry Potter fans than just the US and the UK and I think they, you guys would love to see more of the stuff that we are lucky enough to get over here. So um, if you have a platform of your own, even if you have 
one follower, I think it's worth it to say it, and I definitely tag the people that you would like to see it. Um, just get your voice heard, you know? It's important, so. <laughs> um, I do hope to see that change a little bit. All right, so the next resolution I had was going outside more, and I will show you my stats on my phone of how much I've walked. So in going outside more, I wanted to get a bit more exercise, so um, I do a little bit of hit at home, which is, I used to work out quite a lot, actually, which might surprise some of you, <laughs> and surprises myself sometimes hearing it, but I did, uh, for a few years there, I did work out quite a lot, and um, I kind of fell out of it, you know, getting pregnant, having a baby, and doing all this online stuff, so I do end up sitting around a lot. <laughs> um, but this month I have done a lot better. I think my average is about 6,000. Oh, I'll have to check. Um, I'll show you my average for this month for walking. So I have definitely gone outside more and it's gone more, it, it's gotten easier as the month has gone along. I didn't realize just how long it would take me to kind of get back into it. Have you ever done that? Where like, you sat around for quite a bit and try to get back into exercise or even just going for walks. It's just, it's very tiring at first. <laughs> um, but I've definitely gained some of that like leg muscle back. I get like, it felt like my body was clicking into place. Like I would get really tired the next day I would just like have so much more energy. And I think it was just my body kind of like getting back to what my norm is, which is doing more <laughs> off of my butt. Oh, and I'm just going ahead and tie in with that, which is um, just because like diet and lifestyle. Um, I did change my diet from a just like overall diet to a vegetarian diet, which has been super easy for me actually. Um, I think I will admit there has been times where my husband has eaten meat and it smelled really good, which feels a little messed up to like say, but I want to be honest, like when you are making that change, but it didn't, it did smell good, but it didn't necessarily make me want to eat it, if that makes sense. Like I have no problem not eating it. Like I could watch him eat it and it was all right. <laughs> making the transition has been really easy for me. Um, I don't see myself giving up on it anytime soon. It's... I, I won't say I feel any mentally different. I don't. Um, I know a lot of people say it cha changes, it helps with like anxiety and things. I don't think it has for me. I don't feel more energy from it. Uh, <laughs> I like honestly, I feel exactly the same. I'm just being honest. Um, but that's not to say it's not a, still a good thing to do. Obviously, I do feel better about um, hopefully my environmental impact, which is basically the reason I started doing it. And uh, I do feel good about it. Honestly, I. You know, it's, it's opened me up to trying new things as well, like m different dishes I don't think I would normally try. And I can still get things like Indian food that I love. Like, um, I used to get buttered chicken, but now I can just get it like as a curry sauce basically without the chicken. And I'll have that with like naan bread instead with like, you know, like garlic or something. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's like, it tastes exactly the same. It's so good. It's just, obviously you have it on a, on vegetables and like, I love sweet potato. So I have it on sweet potato. I'm just rambling. I love food. <laughs> okay, moving on to my next re resolution. I wanted to read more, which I did read more. And I might change this one because I don't feel as satisfied with the outcome as I thought I would. I wanted to read more, I just, just for the sake of reading more. And I did. And then I would finish the book and then I was like, eh, I don't really feel like reading. <laughs> um, so I think I will continue to read, but I think I'm going to just I'm going to get rid of that goal to read other, like a certain number of books. Cause I, I felt like that was a lot of pressure for no reason. I, there's no part of me that's like, I don't have like a huge driving force to do it really. Um, so that's kind of interesting for me cause I didn't expect that. But yeah, I do want to be honest with you guys. And I don't think I will be reading as many books as I have been, but I will tell you which books I have read and tell you what I thought of them. So um, I read, I think it was called like The Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. Um, which I thought was actually really good. It took me a little bit to get into, and I will tell you that the title and like the picture, to me, I didn't find that appealing. Um, it's a fantasy book, but only slightly. Like There's magic and things, but they tie into the world in such a way that it, sometimes it's a bit whimsical that you can't tell what's meant to be reality and what might be a dream or something. And it's beautiful in that way, and I definitely I cried a few times. It does have some teenage romance kind of things. Um, there is a little bit of violence uh, late into the book, but it's still, it's the whole book is beautifully written. I would definitely check it out if you have some time. It's a relatively short book. I think it's like 300 pages or so. Um, I would probably read it again, honestly. It was really good. <laughs> um, the other, let's see, I also read The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, which I know is a very popular YA novel that came out a few years ago. And it took me about 25% of the book to get into it. and. I thought it was really cheesy and very like teenage romance and then it got really good because I won't give you any spoilers um, the protagonist has a goal in mind and that goal changes because of the circumstances and when that happens the protagonist's character almost like goes through a switch 
uh, like mentally and it to me it made it so much more interesting I thought that the story was great I could hardly put it down I thought it was so so good I really enjoyed that book um, I would definitely I, I do want to read the next one in the series so I have been looking for that because I actually want to get I was reading the Kindle version I want to get the, the hardback some other books I read I read um, a couple of the Harry Potter books so I read the second third I'm working on the fourth and I'm almost finished listening to the fifth so I've been doing those two at the same time I think that's it so I read what one two three I've read like four going on five slash six books and I also started Don Quixote which you have possibly heard of which of course is a huge classic I was in a musical version of it um, when I was like eight or nine <laughs> so I actually like my recollection of the story is pretty good but um, mostly of the music so I've never read the book and so far it is really good it's a huge book though it's like a thousand pages oh my god it is long but definitely would recommend that as well especially if you love fantasy it is really good. <laughs> All right, so I did want to touch on the Harry Potter things. I did both get gifted and I purchased. So I will start with the most late thing I got, which is the Harry Potter Magic Knitting Book. Sorry, it's called the Harry Potter and Knitting Magic, and it is awesome. It's just a, like a really beautiful book. I definitely do plan on doing a flip through of this book. I know some people have been asking for it, and I even had some people saying they wanted to watch my journey of knitting. Um, I have been thinking about documenting some of that. Um, I do want to do that. I might just like put in some highlights here and there throughout the month as I work on it. I'm a complete beginner, so um, I didn't record any of my like first few tries. I'm not new to crafting, so, um, so I am brand new to knitting, but I'm not new to crafting. I have done a bit of crochet in the past, so I understand the basics. So I will say it took me probably an evening to learn how to knit, purl, cast on, cast off. Um, so it didn't take very long. I will also link you guys some of the tutorials I used because they are so helpful. Like the woman who does it, oh, she's so, she's great, honestly. And like, I don't recommend a lot of videos, but I would definitely recommend these if you're trying to learn how to knit. She's so clear about how to do it. Um, I will say purling was probably the most difficult, and I will have some tips for you guys um, that I found along the way as being a beginner knitter. I am much better at it now. Um, it's been, I think, three days, two days, <laughs> something like that. Um, I'm just working on the beginner crafts and their um, washcloths. So I will show you guys how those are coming along in a future video. And of course, over on my Instagram, I do update things all the time. So you can always check out my journey there. Um, so the next thing I bought, I actually ended up finding in town, which was totally random. The short version is, it was one evening, and it was very cold out, and I needed to take my daughter out, and I had been inside all day. So I took her out, I strapped her in, and we went. I walked in, and in my town, you never find Harry Potter things. Like, there is a bookshop that does sell the Harry Potter books. That's about it. Like, you're not going to find merchandise here. So I was so, oh my gosh. So I walked in, and to my left, directly in front of me, was this. Right, and it, I was, I picked up and I just, I did like a double take and I looked at it and I was like, is this a postcard or something? And the woman was like, no, it's to let you know that the scarf she's wearing <laughs> um, is what's next to the card. And I look to the right of it and there's a pair of gloves and the scarf from the Half-Blood Prince there. And oh my God, totally unexpected. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and it's beautiful, and it was on sale. Unfortunately, it's not on sale online. I think it was only on sale because it's like a boutique, so they buy it, and then they only had one as well. It was like really small shops. So I was so surprised that they had it. Oh my god, I freaked out. I went home, grabbed my purse, I came right back. I bought, I did buy the scarf, obviously, and I bought the matching gloves as well. Oh my gosh, it was so exciting. It's, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's really well done. It's like it's a proper knit, um, like fair aisle is the the pattern, I guess. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. <laughs> uh, I'm super happy with it, and it is made out of wool, unfortunately. I know some of you uh, don't prefer wool. So the next thing I got was a gift from my mother-in-law. So she had come over uh, one day, I think last week, and she brought this, and it was totally unexpected. Like, I saw her holding it on the couch, and like I was like a moth to a light. I was like, what's that? And it was this little money box. That's Hogwarts theme, and she found it in a charity shop. So it just makes like a really pretty like false book. Oh, it's so pretty! I love it. And so it lives over here on my favorite bookshelf, um, right? Which leads me to the next Harry Potter item I received as a gift from my wonderful friend Jack, um, and it is the Tales of Beetle the Bard, which I did a giveaway for as well, or we did. And um, he was kind enough to send me my own copy, and it is so pretty, and I love it. I will do more photos of it, of course, over on Instagram. 
Um, it's really pretty. It's just like perfect. And it's actually all in runes with, with the translations on top. So you can still read it. Oh, it's just beautiful and shiny and gorgeous. And it just lives right over here where it is untouched. Um, so thank you very much, Jack. I love it very much. <laughs> I also went to York this month and I got this Luna Lovegood pin. If you haven't seen my pin collection video again, um, it is in there and it is really cute. I love that. I also got the uh, flying key pin, which came with the Wizarding Gold Journal. I was gifted a few items by my friend Allison, who lives in the United States. We did a Christmas um, exchange and I got my package um, last week so I got this beautiful Mina Lima journal and it's blank at the moment except it, it does have my name on it in charms class as a subject. Ooh, another item we got, this is actually a gift for my daughter. I thought I would put it in anyway because it's really cute she's crying because she wants it. <laughs> but it's a pygmy puff and oh my god I love it. We named it Tank. This was such a beautiful and thoughtful gift. Um, Allison and her daughter Jordan got it for me and Jordan picked it out and it is a Gryffindor purse. Um, I love it. It's awesome. Isn't it cute? Do you guys have these? I did get a few messages. Some people had some of the variations of it. And they were just really beautiful and shiny. <laughs> so thank you again, Allison. They are much appreciated and much loved. All right, the last thing I got this month was um, this owl, which is not Harry Potter, but I really loved it, so I thought I would include it. So there it is. I just want to wrap this up quickly. This is some embroidery I did this month, and it is the Time Turner, and I'm so proud of it. And I wish I had thought to make it into like a badge or something. I think I still could. It's really cute. I'm really proud of it. And the other thing I embroidered, I did make into a patch, and it is the Spectra Specs. Okay, since my daughter is um, wanting my attention now and wants to go outside, and I also want to go outside, um, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up, and the rest of it I will do a voiceover. Um, and I just want to include some like vlog clips of the stuff I've done this month, just because I thought you guys might want to see something besides my desk. So we can watch that and um, yeah. <laughs> Voiceover Joy is back again. I'm sorry if I found a, sound a little tired because I am a little tired. <laughs> so this clip was of me reading because I was going to do a different video that I did not end up making. These are some clips from when we went to York last week. Um, this is The Shambles, aka Diagon Alley, and I'm showing you some clips of my favorite shops, including the shop that must not be named. Here you can park your brooms, go inside, and buy all of the Harry Potter items. Surrounding this store are two other Harry Potter shops and the Potions Cauldron. I always have to stop and take a selfie here, and that Skelligro in my arm I did not end up purchasing, but I kind of wish I had now. There were all kinds of wands, and then we moved on to The Shambles market. It was raining and my lovely husband hates being on camera. <laughs> Here's my daughter with her new little hat. She's so cute. Stop for some lunch of course. Hi Amber. And my husband. Again. <laughs> End of the vlog. <laughs> I love tea. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video, which will hopefully be tomorrow. Fingers crossed, I'm gonna try really hard. Um, with my unboxing video of the January Geek Gear Wizardry Box. So thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.